Well, a turf war is brewing between an iconic bratwurst stop on 6th Street and a restaurant that's earned some impressive recognition recently. Both are trying to claim a patch of public property. KXAN's Aaron Cargill has the story downtown. Best Worst has carts set up in two downtown locations. They say this one at 6th and San Jacinto accounts for 80 to 90 percent of their business. But Parkside's expansion plans do not include brats. If you've hung out on 6th Street in the last 17 years, you've probably seen or even bought a bratwurst from this cart at the corner of 6th and San Jacinto. We've been a staple fixture on 6th Street for all these years. You know, we're part of the landscape. The owner of Best Worst is still shocked at its success. It's just a way for musicians to make money. Three years ago, Parkside Restaurant set up shop in the building the stand sits in front of. When Sean moved in, we knew that there was some animosity. Sean Kirk Hill is the chef and owner of the upscale restaurant that's recently received rave reviews by Texas Monthly and Bon Appetit magazine. Business has been so good, they want more room. We are expanding the balcony and building a balcony over the, over the sidewalk, similar to the Stephen F. Austin or the Intercontinental. And eventually, they'll be asking the city if they can add a sidewalk cafe, which means the sausage stand would have to go. The great thing about a mobile cart is it's able to be mobile. Best Worst City Permit expired three weeks ago, and after they requested to renew, Parkside filed an objection, claiming there are too many people waiting in line for brats, blocking the sidewalk, and leaning on the restaurant windows. Last weekend, the car temporarily moved across the street. So the front of the restaurant was clean and, and orderly, and, and it was good. It is surprisingly has already been damaging. Our sales last weekend were down some 40 percent just being across the street. Until a solution can be reached, the city is extending the vendor's permit indefinitely. The city says a decision could take another week. The Transportation Department has the final say. They take care of sidewalk permit issues. In downtown Austin, Aaron Cargill, KXA and Austin News.